good evening to all the press people. Uh, Uganda is a very prominent country on the east of Africa, a pearl of Africa we say. Uh, it is surrounded by the Central African countries like Tanzania, Congo uh, and it has a very good open business uh, economy, open to, to the trade and business. Uh, Uganda is a very fertile agricultural land, uh, many opportunities for agriculture, uh, many opportunities for investment in hospitality. Uh, the economy is open and there is free, free transfer of uh, investment <coughs> profits can be repatriated between Uganda and India. Um, the government for the last 34 years has been very stable and uh, there is a big Indian community of more than 60,000 families living in Uganda who are doing business for more than a century now. Uh, agriculture and tourism. Tourism is a very important uh, aspect of Uganda because it has uh, many uh, wildlife national parks. It has the best uh, lake, Lake Victoria, which is the biggest freshwater lake, many waterfalls. It is the origin of the river Nile. And um, for tourism, it is a very attractive destination. Also for film shooting, Uganda offers a unique location. Uh, cost effective. Uh, the government of Uganda has uh, made the uh, investments into Uganda uh, very open. You, you can have 100% uh, pro profit uh, repatriation after payment of the local taxes and you have the 100% ownership of whatever business you do that. Uh, in terms of agriculture, it, is, it has uh, very fertile land, abundant water, uh, the fruits are plentiful grown there and you know the land is only 1 or 2 percent converted to agriculture so the opportunity for agriculture is big. Uh, in terms of fruits, it has a wide cultivation of bananas, all varieties, the mango fruits is grown in plenty, uh, pineapple, jackfruit, uh, it has the highest uh, growth of avocados um, and uh, avocados and uh, of course tea and coffee is very big uh, from Uganda. Also the milk, uh, the cattle and the milk, they have a large production of milk uh, which is uh, very surplus and it requires to be packed, converted to um, uh, milk powder, uh, lot of uh, ghee and butter is possible to be exported out of Uganda. Uh, in terms of uh, hospitality, the hotel chains, because there is so many uh, tourist spots, they, there is a requirement of lot of hotel chains to be established there. Uh, in terms of medical, uh, we have a huge scope for hospital chains to be established and um, medical facilities. I think uh, all this is giving a huge opportunity for India, Uganda, bilateral trade uh, and uh, Her Excellency uh, from the Embassy, uh, Grace Akilo has come here to promote Uganda and India business. Thank you. So, my name is Grace Akilo. I am High Commissioner of Uganda uh, in India now, for uh, no, in New Delhi now, for the last almost four years. I've come to Chennai, uh, now this is my fourth visit as well, I think, because um, I came to the road show, you know, I came to the exhibition. It's not only Uganda which has road shows. The government of India has got very good road shows, except you don't call them road shows. I came to the Air Expo, which you had a few, two years back, uh, somewhere uh, near the coast. Uh, I came then again and I came again. But I, if I were to say 
how many of you have seen an African person and interacted with them face to face like this? How many of you press people here? I, I dare say that I would, I would find maybe two percent maybe. So for me, my idea was, let us go east because this is where the economy of India is growing very, very fast. Very, very fast. It's one of the areas where it's growing very fast. Of course, Mumbai is the headquarters, the financial capital of India. Calcutta is very important, having been an old uh, the capital and also the commercial center. Now, Chennai is like the, which one of America? Where they manufacture vehicles? What's the name of that state? Uh, I forgot the, the press would know it. It's like that. So we are very interested in this state. And uh, I'm getting ahead of myself with the story. So let me we'll start where I should have started. On my right is our distinguished honorary consul for Mumbai, Mr. Rawal, who has already introduced himself. I have uh, an honorary consul designate, which is why I tell him we have to keep a little bit of a low profile for him because the government of Uganda said, OK, the government of India, is so, so it's going to say, okay, we go. This is our, our man in Chennai, this gentleman here. Yeah. Then this gentleman to my extreme left is uh, Mr. Niraj, uh, and he and us, as you can see there, we are doing a joint show. You know, one of the ideas of uh, this bilateral relationship between Uganda and India is that you should work with the local opportunities, the local establishments, the local agencies which are there to promote the economy, promote the political relationship, to promote the social cultural relationship. So this is why we have the PhD chamber as our partner in this event. Uh, the gentleman just sauntered in uh, to the room when we had sat here, and he happens to be the deputy head of mission. We decided to come. Usually we don't do this. Usually when, when the head of mission is somewhere, the deputy head of mission is elsewhere. But for us, this show is very, very important. So we say, let us all go to Chennai. So I have the deputy head of mission. If you could stand for recognition, please, sir. That's our deputy head of mission, if the press would like to see him. Then I have um, at the back uh, the lady who has been working together with the Mr. Um, Miraj, Madam Sophie Birungi. She's the secretary for commercial diplomacy. Then the lady who is seated here, the reason she's seated here is because she's the one responsible for public relations. She's the consular secretary in the mission in India. We want to link up with Tamil Nadu because we believe that the, this relationship will be mutually beneficial to Uganda and to the state of Tamil Nadu. We know that Tamil Nadu and the people of uh, this area are uh, the brains, the intel intellectuals, the thinking part, the heart of India, the ones who have taken India to the moon, the ones who have, have, uh, have sent 100 satellites to space in one day. We know, we know, you have so we know that you are very good farmers and you are, you, you know, you are self dependent in food, your food security is unquestioned. We know that your technological development is very, very high. You know that you have people here who are very uh, innovative. We know that you have training programs here with the, the e-programs, e you know, which have gone not only in learning into your e-government, you have e-health, e, e you have e-medicine, you have e-everything. We know the potential that there is here. And we are saying that Uganda, as it is aspiring to transform from an economy which is like perhaps what India was 50 years ago, to what India is today, a middle-income country, we have a lot to learn from it. But apart from learning, we are saying, no, learning is not enough. There is a way we can stimulate each other's economic growth. When you, uh, when you go and be people from, okay, by you, I mean even you, the press, yes, of course, because we can, we can link up with the, your, uh, your fellow press people in Uganda also, and there can be quite a relationship to be established will also be mutually beneficial. But we say that when you go, we are looking in this particular show, we want to promote investment, trade, and tourism. Investment opportunities in all these areas. There are so many investment opportunities as the Honorary uh, Consul Designator started to name, and as the Honorary Consul had named. We, we, uh, we have a vision 2040, 
and that's the vision which we want, which we are pursuing in transforming Uganda from a peasant economy to a, a, a middle income economy. In this, we see, in the, like the way India has seen, industrialization is the way to transformation. You cannot run an economy on peasant agriculture. And you have struggled here, we have seen how you struggled with it. You had an agricultural revolution, which made sure that India is now self-sufficient in food. Not only that, India, India now can feed the world with the exports, its rice. I think it's the, the second largest rice exporter to the world, India is. We have seen that industrialization is what breeds the young brains and makes them innovative. India, 20 years ago, nobody would think that India would go to the moon. India has gone to the moon, India has gone to Mars, India explores satellites every day, and it, this, the hub is here. These are all things that we have to learn. Investment, when you take your investment in Uganda, we want to tell the business community here that when you go to Uganda, you'll find a, an environment which is, which the whole ecosystem is put together in order to, to realize the highest benefit to both the people of Uganda and the investor in the area of his investment, whether he invests in industrialization, whether he goes into oil and gas, whether he goes into the investment opportunities in tourism, wherever he decides to he or she decides to invest. The benefit is the, the, the warm, friendly relationship that we want to have. Mutually prosperous nations, which are political friends, which are international friends, which see each other at the level of state to state equality, but with Uganda looking at India and saying, you are the bigger sister, come on. Okay, because I'm a woman, I'm saying, you are the bigger sister, come on, help us. But you could say, you are the bigger brother, come on now. Please, what, how did you do it here? Can we do it also like this? Why don't you come and do it together? This, 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 the relationship. So that's why we are here. And then, uh, well, we organized this press conference. And here, he's here, he's here. Madame Among is here. We are ready to answer your questions. I hope we have stimulated your interest in my country. And we rely on you to help us to promote this. Thank you very much. This is the Uganda-India business meet. This is the first time in Chennai. Our Her Excellency Grace Akilo, she is the Ambassador of Uganda in Delhi. High Commissioner. And uh, Mr. Madhusudan Agrawal, uh, he is the Honorary Council in Mumbai from Uganda and also the Joint Managing Director of Ajanta Pharma. Uganda vandu or uh, East Africa la or mukhyamana nation and the nation ipa ella business ki romba opportunity ki open panirkudhu anga land vandu romba fertile irke mineral deposits nariya ve irke oil and gas nariya irke industry ki nariya opportunity irke namba medical uh, tourism medical hospital chain pandrathukku namba hotel chain pandrathukku Number agricultural development, pandratheke, technology, pandratheke, all the Uganda la nariya ve opportunity irke. And Uganda government vande hundred percent ownership kudkranga. Number and the industrial park lo open panna patto varsho ki tax illa ma kudkranga, no income tax. Randa vade inna inna incentive irke. All number Indian businessmen ke kudkranga. Inga, anga pandra profit number full full inga repatriate panla uh, anga population one the educated uh, young population irkranga to yenda industry anga poi pandra the na uh, nalia, nalia profit margin irke randa of the Africa lende yadame export number America ki Europe ki pandra na other uh, tax illama export on number textile industry. Uh, namba, tourism industry and the mother yet may develop under the key Naria Vasidi Kurkaranga honorary counseling of under the key main Mukhamana Karna Tamil Nadu and the technology Lomba Nala Pramadamana Irke education Nala Irke in the industry Roma Pramadamana Irke auto industry Nala developed Irke to the Ella number in the Rikra businessmen. Uganda ki one the business pana on the red carpet welcome Kurkaranga single window clearance Kurkaranga. Uh, yen the Vasidi Venmo, yen the support Venmo, Elame number Indian businessmen ki anga Kadikapur there. Adanal, Uganda la vande, uh, inga Indian businessmen, Tamil Nadu businessmen, anga poi, uh, Yedame business panna, anga romba profitable irko. And the Madri uh, soldier the ke, madam inga vandir kranga, 
and we invite the businessmen of Tamil Nadu, the technical people from Tamil Nadu, the education from Tamil Nadu. And the Madri Inna Inna Vasidi Anga Kudkaranga are the Purame Vasidi available. Okay. So that is the main reason for the roadshow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.